Hello people of the earth and welcome back to Greek Safe TV. My name is Mike and this is take 3 of this fucking video. We're gonna talk about the Fallout 4 mod support on PlayStation 4 specifically. I'm super disappointed with this. It's really hard for me to formulate my opinion. And it's 4 in the morning, so I do apologize if it gets really ranty. But, you know, just get a cup of coffee or whatever. You know, just play a game and listen to me in the background. You don't really have to watch it. I'll have something in the background obviously playing, but it doesn't really matter. So let's read first of all the official announcement on Bethesda.net. And then talk about it a little bit, you know, because I think it's fucking bullshit. This is unacceptable. And it's a real fucking stab in the back from Sony. Didn't expect that, Sony. Thanks. I guess you're good at stabbing, you know, the history with samurais and stuff. Good blades. Didn't realize you used them for stabbing in the back, but whatever. I guess it's an acquired experience. Alright, so PlayStation 4 mod update. After months of discussing with Sony, we regret to say that while we have long term long while we have long been ready to offer mod support for PlayStation 4, Sony was informed us Sony has informed us that they will not approve user mods the way they should work, where users can do anything they want for either Fallout 4 or Skyrim Special Edition. The one that's coming out a little later this year, just a little just a tad later. Basically a revamped version of which I was also thinking about picking up for fucking uh, PlayStation 4, just to play it, you know, like, yeah, I'm on the couch, you know. I have the computer free, say I'm encoding a video, and I'm playing it on, you know, on my couch. Fantastic, isn't it? Great deal. Or, or it was meant to be a great deal. Like you, we're disappointed by Sony's decision. Disappointed is not the word, Bethesda. It isn't the word, really. It is quite underplayed. <laughs> Given the considerable time and effort we've put into the project, and the amount of time our fans have waited for mod supports to arrive. I'll mention this later, but yes, it, this is exactly that. We consider this as an important initiative, and we hope to find other ways user mod can be available for our PlayStation audience. However, until Sony will allow us to offer proper mod support for PlayStation 4, that content for Fallout 4 and Skyrim on PlayStation 4 will not be available. We will provide an update if and when the situation changes. So. Okay, this is really hard because I feel like a moron. <laughs> I've lost so much money on this thing. I mean, I'm not one of these people who can buy 15 consoles, three fucking flat screen TVs, you know what I mean? I have a stereo system everywhere around my house, I have a fucking sonic boom toilet or whatever the fuck, right? My point is, I cannot buy a lot of shit. So I like when I buy shit for this shit to really pay off. So, for example, when I buy a game, I want to not play it for 10 hours only. I want to play it for 40 hours, 50, 80, 100, 600 hours. You know what I mean? As much as possible so I get my money's worth. I don't often go to cinemas for the same reason. I am unwilling to pay that much money to watch eh, an average or an okay or a decent movie in a cinema because I feel like, yeah, no, you know, it doesn't last the experience doesn't last for me, it doesn't feel worthwhile, you know, I feel bad because I cannot really buy tasty food in the cinema, so I'm like, yeah, you know what, I don't care, I'm gonna watch it at home when it's available on, uh, uh, what's it called, in rental, right, or when it's available on one of the cheaper versions, like on online streaming services, right, like the ones in Russia or the ones, you know, like Netflix, which was um, uh, recently, uh, not recently, you know, some time ago it was available, it became available in Russia. My point is, Oh my god, my point is, I don't want to overinvest into shit. I like my shit to pay back in, in a major and meaningful way. So when I bought PlayStation 4, right, I didn't expect to buy, to be, to be, to be uh, harangued into buying a new console so soon, less than a fucking year after I got it. I didn't expect that the mod support in Fallout 4 will become not a thing because Sony's being very stubborn dick right i didn't expect any of this to happen and this is not only is it unacceptable business practice because look okay so here's sony they make a console okay and, and another company bethesda makes a game for this console also not especially for this console but also for this console and then sony says you know oh yeah suck a dick you know you want mods but fuck your mods fuck your customers doesn't matter they had it for fucking years on pc since oblivion morrowind also you know you can go back there's uh, there's morrowind nexus let me as a matter of fact check it morrowind nexus yes there's morrowind nexus Ever since I don't know if there was in Daggerfall. I don't think Daggerfall had such extensive mod support. I don't think so. I played Daggerfall. I didn't think it had that. So since Morrowind, this is 2003. Morrowind was 2003, if I'm not mistaken. Oblivion was 
or, e or even earlier. This is when I had um, uh, seen the game. Morrowind release date. When did it come out? 2002 even. May 1, 2002, right? And then Oblivion was 2015? Um, 2000, sorry, 2006, I mean, 2005, I want to say, 2006, cool. So, ever since I got um, Oblivion, I was, you know, and I got internet, which was 2007, I think, um, I was involved in modding, right? Not, not, not as a producer, really, I made some shitty mods, they're not really something especially interesting, but it was me, you know, trying my hand on that, and it was satisfying. Uh, the most important thing was that I had an endless supply of free content, so no matter how, I dis how much I disliked the DLCs that the uh, company would make, I could always get mods. This is why I was so critical for mods of Sky uh, on, on, for DLCs on Skyrim, because basically, in many senses, they couldn't compete with mods, you know? Mods were doing the same, on comparable quality, or better than, than DLC. So I was like, yeah, man, I don't, I don't care for that very much, you know? Uh, and, but having these mods was, that, was meaning that basically I would get a game that has massive amount of content alike to World of Warcraft, but I don't have to pay sub sub subscription fee, fee, right? Subscription fee. <laughs> I can't even talk, man. But point is, I don't have to pay subscription, get a lot of content, enjoy myself, and play in single player. No other fucking people, right? No need to pay for additional content, I just have it. Because enthusiasts, because talented fucking bastards are making it. And I couldn't be happier. And now they're like, oh no, we're not gonna do it. What do you mean you're not gonna do it? What do you mean they cannot have access to the game? What is that supposed to mean? Are we not allowed to modify the game we bought? You know? No? Okay, we're gonna leave your console then. I mean, what kind of discussion can there be? What do you think you're gonna hold against us? Ooh, there's The Last of Us. You wanna play The Last of Us? Fuck you. Fuck your console. This is not a bargaining chip for you. You can't say, oh yeah, you know, we're not gonna allow you to do that, but keep playing on PlayStation 4. I'm not gonna do that. This is an acceptable practice. Why Xbox people get to play mods since May, you know, why PC? Well, PC, obviously, because Gaben, our god, you know, we're doing good on PC. We, you know, I'm, I'm not on PC for a while. PC is doing great, better than fucking ever. And, you know, and they released this new console, PlayStation 4 Pro or whatever, with slightly better specs, and I have to pay again a, sim a comparable amount of money or even more money to get it? What the fuck? What do you think it is, you know? The whole point of purchasing a console for me was, you know, I buy it, I keep it for a couple of years, I'm doing good, I don't have to do anything else, I don't have to upgrade it, I don't have to do anything with it, I bought it, it sits there under my monitor, not, not a TV, because I'm a cheapskate, I don't have to buy it again, and I'm doing good, right? No, PlayStation 4 Pro, what the fuck? What, do you really think you can compete like that with PC? Your main advantage was that we wouldn't have to buy anything new for it, you know, except, you know, periphery, like a web camera or, you know, a headset piece or, or, or a new gamepad, things like that. Things that make the experience better. But buying a new console? Are you mad? <laughs> do you really think that's gonna roll? Do you, think, do you really think that you can compare the value of a new console like this within a two-year span to an upgrade on PC? Do you really think you can compete with that, Sony? Or Microsoft, do you really think it's comparable? Do you really think consoles can compete with PC on this arena? They cannot. The only way they will be able to compete is on exclusives. And I, I don't care, man. If I have to live, if I have to live without a new game from Quantic Dream, right? Fine. I'll take that hit. You know, I'll take that sacrifice, whatever. Doesn't matter. But I'll have my mods. I will be able to enjoy the game I like. The game I love, frankly. From the company that doesn't jerk me around, for the most part, they have their flaws, but at least they're not fucking forbidding mods for me, and you're going to, yo, we're not going to allow mods. What do you mean you're not going to allow mods? Are you serious? Do you really think you can declare war on the internet, war on dank memes, and war on great mods, and you will win? Really, Sony? An anti-fan company? I'm surprised you would do that to us. Fucking hell. Unbelievable. And by the way, people who made this decision, you people are idiots. You should consider what you're doing, you know. This, this, is, why, this is why you need people consulting you that know uh, things about gaming, you know. 
This is why this is why laws about economy shouldn't be implemented purely by people versed in laws, not in economy. And this is why CEOs of game companies shouldn't decide things without having understanding of the way video games work. This is why. This is precisely why. It will backfire on you hard because this isn't some this isn't some average game. <laughs> This isn't some average game. This is a very popular game. And mods is a massive reason for its popularity. Massive. Maybe the dominant reason for its popularity. And you, restricting access on that, unless you reverse your decision, will fuck you in the ass very soon. I congratulate you. The, your idiosity is truly legendary. Worthy of summarize of old. <laughs> Just unbelievable. Okay, and so I hope they reverse it. And if they don't, I'm moving back for, on PC, right? If I have to crash every hour with blue screens, I would rather deal with that than play without mods. This is really disappointing because money was already spent on my part. I kind of got my worth out of it, but the worth would be infinite if they wouldn't fuck me like this. And I've been waiting all this time like a fucking moron instead of going back on PC and playing with mods. It would have been really helpful if Sony didn't jerk off for so long and would just say no fuck no, you know? So I wouldn't have to wait like an idiot hanging here waiting for their decision. Fascinating. What a bunch of fucking senseless cretins. Unbelievable. I'll be goddamned if I buy another piece of shit from you, Sony. With business practice like this. And it's really, it's really very simple, right? You've been doing good so far. Most of your decisions have been better than what Xbox was doing. But it only takes one time. One massive fuck up like that. And all this goodwill is lost. Really. I didn't, I couldn't feel more betrayed than I am right now by you, Sony. And I'm really disappointed. Thank you so much for watching.